I'm Dan Leach, and I'm an associate professor in the Faculty of Education. I work uh, with the Center for the Study of Education, Leadership, and Policy, which is based here at the Surrey campus. And I edit a journal which is housed at uh, SFU, the International Journal for Education Policy and Leadership. Also uh, active in uh, the Faculty Association. So lots of different hats. So the, the research project was uh, the British Columbia School Trustees' use of research in information seeking in decision making. And uh, what we were interested in finding out was uh, basically where do school trustees go to get the information they make decisions on. The work actually was done as an extension uh, replication study from colleagues in Virginia, Penelope Early and Gary Galuzzo, who had looked at uh, school board members and where school board members in the uh, state went for uh, information. And so we were really interested as researchers in trying to help uh, policymakers um, as uh, education leaders make better decisions. And we want to make sure that uh, wherever possible, uh, from a researcher perspective, we're getting research into the hands of decision makers. A key part of that was trying to figure out, okay, when decision makers have questions, where do they actually look for that information? Are they looking in uh, uh, journals or in scholarly sources? Do they go to libraries um, or do they go to uh, professional organizations or do they just go to the newspaper or the internet? So uh, that's kind of where the, the background came in, uh, for this study. Where do school trustees go when they have uh, questions that they want to uh, interrogate? I've been working in the uh, area of research use, uh, which is the scholarship that studies um, how we use research um, and how we can better use research uh, in policy and practice uh, for a number of years. And there's a fairly well-established uh, research base on uh, where people go for information, and it typically starts close to home. So you go to the sources that you know, you go to the sources that you're comfortable with. And so uh, not unsurprisingly, we found that school trustees primarily uh, started in the school district. So um, the secretary treasurer reports from the secretary treasurer, reports from the uh, superintendent, information that the school district uh, gathers, collects, analyzes, and then makes available. Uh, that's where they uh, initially uh, tend to go for information. Uh, one step away from that uh, would be uh, news sources uh, and uh, professional associations. And so the uh, BC School Trustees Association uh, and uh, local and regional newspapers were also uh, valuable sources for uh, school trustees. Um, and then further afield, uh, researchers and research. So um, scholarly research journals, unsurprisingly, weren't a, a, a uh, primary source uh, for the school trustees uh, when they're looking for particular information. Now a lot of uh, the uh, sources that they consult to will be friends, family, other trustees, uh, so people in their social network. Uh, and so uh, there's kind of the informal uh, ability or, or desire to seek out information and then the more formal uh, uh, targeting of information. If we know where they're going, uh, then we can uh, try to make sure that the work that we're doing, uh, that we think we want to get into school trustees' hands, uh, is available in those venues. So if we find that trustees really go to their professional association a lot, uh, or if they go to particular journals, or if they go to particular news sources, uh, that we target those sources uh, as a dissemination vehicle for our research when we have something that we think is really important to get into trustees' hands.